The CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. We're here today with Helmut Spicer. Helmut, uh, who do you work with? Uh, I work for the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs and uh, based out of Ridgetown. Perfect. Okay, Helmut, today we're going to talk about uh, wheat storage. So for a lot of farmers, they uh, harvest their wheat, they get a good yield, throw it in the bin and uh, take it out when they need to. Uh, it's not necessarily that easy though, is it? No, well, you, you put the, uh, the wheat in a basically a waterproof container and it's in there, it's secure, you aerate from time to time. But uh, in order to ensure that the quality is as good as it was when it went in, you've basically got to manage that grain in storage. So you need to aerate routinely to try to keep the grain within five centigrade degrees of average outside air temperature. Uh, if that temperature between the grain and the outside air varies more than five centigrade degrees, we can start to get convective air movement uncontrolled inside the bin and that starts to move moisture. It can cause problems uh, uh, in the in the center of the bin as that moisture condenses on the grain. So, so do we get that column moisture. effect? Like should we be pulling a load out and putting a load back in? Like it no, not once it's in and it's in good uh, good condition in the bin. There's really not a reason to turn that bin. Uh, you might uh, take some out to have a look at it, but in most cases, you're you know sort of what the quality is inside that bin. So right right now it's it's February, but in the fall time, is there something that realistically we should have done before we even put the, the grain in the bin? Yeah, before the the grain goes in the bin, if you're going to keep that grain for any uh, appreciable period of time, you should uh, clean that bin inside and do an empty bin treatment. In other words, put something in there to control any insects that might reside in there. Uh, in cracks and crevices underneath the aeration floor. So something like a diatomaceous earth, which uh, you install through the fan, it basically dusts the inside of that bin. It deals with the bugs that are in the bin. Grain that's going into the bin, uh, if you don't treat it, basically the empty bin treatment just deals with what was there before the grain went in. So it's up to the grower to decide, is he going to treat that wheat as it's going into uh, into storage. So uh, Helmut, it's winter. Uh, a lot of times we're we're delivering grain through the winter or you know throughout the year. Is there is there a way that we should be checking the bin properly? Like just open the front door and you know pull I a guess, sample well, out. My suggestion to producers, uh, as far as monitoring the grain and storage, is do it on a monthly basis. In other words, on a three or four week schedule. Get in there, do some things. Uh, turn the fan on. Climb up to the top look inside the bin, use your eyes, use your nose. With your eyes you're looking for, uh, is there anything uh, odd looking about the top of the grain? Are there any webbing type materials on there, which is a, uh, a, a product that's produced by one of the stored grain pests? Uh, look for moisture condensation under the roof. That means that air is moving somewhere, the moisture is being picked up from that grain, condensing on any cold surface, and then will drip back down into uh, the grain mass. Also use your nose. Your nose picks up off odors at very minute concentration. So it should smell sweet, it should smell like wheat in a wheat bin and, and just be aware of what's on there. If you've got a static pressure gauge as we have here on this, on this fan, uh, make, a, make a note of what that reading is. That should not change from month to month. If that static pressure starts to go up it means the fan's having to move uh, had as fans taking uh, more work to move the same amount of air, something's changing, something's closing off those air spaces uh, between the wheat kernels. So if the if the bin was starting to heat, is it kind of a point of no return or is there a way to save the bin? No, if, if things are starting to heat in there, that means something's starting to go out of condition and that means the farmer has to act in some way, shape or form. Uh, it, the, the worst thing that can happen is you don't know it's heating, you're somewhere where it's sunny and warm and there's uh, waves lapping up on beach, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, as I said, the management aspect, you've got to know what's in there. If things start to go out of condition, they can go south in a hurry. Uh, but in, in most cases, there's going to be something that's happening that will uh, show up as a visual uh, symptom or something that you can pick up with your nose.